This presentation is going to focus on units and dimensions. And while it seems a bit mundane, it's actually very critical that the user understand how the uniting or <laughs> the uniting, how the units function when we place a civil cell into a design and also our dimensioning and how we go about modifying that in the core libraries. So the topics will be changing core civil cell units and changing core civil cell dimensions. It's important after the brief presentation that you stay tuned as we will be doing a demonstration as well. Where do we start? As a user getting a look and feel for the new cell library, you may be wondering, what do I do next? Where do I go? As with Open Roads, we're going to start with customization. The most logical place will be units and dimensions. So this will be critical in getting started. So every organization is going to have their own set of standards for dimensioning. But also, the world's kind of split in two or three, depending on what kind of units we're working with. So as a reality check, Bentley Systems, we're here to provide you with some help with these libraries. But again, the reality of the situation is that we could never meet all the standards dimensionally that are out there even within an organization, from these base core libraries, multiple cells could be created or derived um, with just simply differing dimensions. One lane, two lane, multi-center curves, singular curves, etc. So, the first thing we're going to start with is English units or metric units. Now, everyone by this point hopefully is familiar with open roads technology and the fact that we can easily select our dimensions or an element and dimension it and key in with the heads up window a new dimension. However, we're also all familiar with the fact that the library may or may not be created in the unit system that we're working. So we have two ways we can go about fixing this. The first way, which I do not recommend, is to simply get out your calculator and use the conversion factors on the screen and convert the dimensions, leaving them in the units they started in. Now this probably is not very practical. So the second way is going to understand microstation and the units and how they affect civil cells. So within MicroStation or our power platform, under the settings menu, design file, you'll see a linear unit and an advanced settings. We want to get it out there right away. The caution on advanced settings basically refers to you as a user should not adjust these settings. Again, I want to reiterate it's very important that as a user, you do not change the advanced resolution settings within the core cell libraries. There's no need for that, and we'll show this later in the demonstration. But under our linear units, however, we can see the format with the master and subunits. These can be changed at will. So they can be changed from meters if it's a metric library, to feet or survey feet or vice versa. So we're going to jump into a demonstration now and just look at changing these settings, how they affect the file, and what effect it has on the file. Then we're also going to look at some key areas of dimensioning that we'll need to update. Stay tuned in just one second. So as we mentioned in the presentation, our units for a design file can be accessed through our settings design file and then working units and so in this case we see our linear units and our advanced settings advanced settings are left over 
as um, units of resolution when from a once limited design plane. So years ago, many years ago, these settings were very important. For now, we'll ignore them. And again, these should never be modified. So even if your resolution for your current projects differs from this, this will have no effect because what happens is when the cell is placed, MicroStation does the conversion in the positional units or really the cell becomes part of the design file you're in. So these settings mean very little. However, the linear units, as you can see, were set up today in meters. And if we were to, uh, let's say, be a, an organization where our units need to be set to survey feet, we would simply come into our linear format and change to survey feet. So our position, or rather our linear units can be adjusted as such. So what, what we'll see happen is in the example of even the basic T is we come in and we see our heads up display and now the units are being set in imperial units. So instead of a nice round metric number, we have um, an odd unit in imperials design file. And let's just move this back to meters. And so we see we have a 12 meter. So if we're working in metric units, we can easily come in and adjust these dimensions to what we need to. If we are, are opting to go to imperial units, we would make the switch. And let's say 40 feet. And so what the user would need to do is go around and make the dimension adjustments on the cells. So we would change these. Now I will get into more in depth investigation into these cells and what to modify and how to modify things. But for those of you familiar with the basic T that was delivered in the example workspace, um, um, these cells are different. So they no longer are controlled by a center line where the center line controlled the length back. These cells, um, just focusing on these T cells, are very powerful in that no matter what position our opposing alignment will be in, the cell will extend itself back. So while this is very powerful, it also requires the user to understand, well, what if the width needs to be updated? So in the past, you selected the side elements for the edge of pavement. Well, today we simply select the arc and for our width, we would set to, let's say, negative 12 feet. So now my width is at a, you know, an even imperial value. And so if this were placed in a design that was using survey feet for its resolution, the value would uh, be what is shown in this example. So we'll, again, we will touch more in depth on the specifics of what to modify and how these cells are controlled in a later presentation. For now, that's all. Uh, you're going to want to join the next presentation to see how to modify the features and we'll move forward from there. Thank you.